The opposition to Urban Tolling Alliance has successfully interdicted the tolling of Gauteng's freeways in April 2012, and it was a decision taken after many months of frustrating engagement with Sanral by a number of organizations. You know, e-tolling is an extremely irrational and unreasonable process in that it costs the collection of toll fees alone well over 1 billion rand per annum. This is as much, if not more, than the cost of financing the 20 billion rand road upgrade itself. And on top of these exorbitant costs, e-tolling will be an administrative burden to businesses and the individual citizen themselves. There is no question that non-compliance will be high. It is expected to be well over 20% because sadly in South Africa it is easy to buy false license plates and clone other vehicles details. Enforcement of Sanrol's e-tailing process will be conducted by a new 240 vehicle highway police squad. And this is an empowered police force that will see many innocent victims caught in the crossfire. Do we need another police force to chase our citizens for a road tax? This was clearly a decision that did not have the best interests of the citizens at heart. The decision to toll was taken with a sheer lack of consultation and the research has been largely unsubstantiated along with a weak assessment of e-tolling's impact on society. There is an easier way to collect these funds for road infrastructure and upgrades and this is the fuel levy. It's easy because it attracts no administration costs and is very easy to apply. We estimate a mere 8 to 10 cents increase in the current fuel levy, which is literally less than 1% addition to the fuel price, will raise the 1.7 to 2 billion rand required to pay off the 20 billion rand road upgrade. We shouldn't be fooled by this user pays principle as it has been espoused by the authorities. You know, Karting citizens and businesses deposit almost 400 billion rand into the national fiscus on an annual basis and they receive back less than a quarter into this region. And it is precisely Gauteng's efficiency and productivity that has a positive benefit for the entire nation. Gauteng, in effect, has more than earned its freeway upgrade. You see, you cannot equate user pays for roads in the same manner as you do for electricity and water. You simply cannot toll every road in South Africa if you want this principle to apply strictly. So why only Gauteng's freeways? The e-toll interdict was, however, only the first round. And now we are in court to review the entire decision, whilst also defending an appeal in the Constitutional Court. And Arta will defend these matters because we have an extremely strong case which demonstrates our ability to exercise our democratic rights through the courts and thereby challenge poor decisions made by government that have a significant negative impact on society. And so we urge all citizens and businesses to participate and, and, and assist us in seeing this matter through to its rightful conclusion. And if you want to help, please go to the Outer website at outa.co.za and see how you can contribute to this case. The Outer Committee would like to extend a sincere thanks to the thousands of individuals, families and businesses who have already raised several millions of rands to date. We thank you.